You can't walk very far in these parts without being greeted with a war eagle. And boy, do they hope it will be a joyous one today. Welcome to Jordan-Hare Stadium in the home of the Auburn Tigers. Today, we have one of those games that test your focus. Top 25 team against an unranked opponent. Can you take care of business? As we'll see a squad from the ACC, the California Golden Bears, taking on the 24th ranked team in the land, the Auburn Tigers. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Collins. He leaves it with his back. Nice move to keep moving. Picks up a useful five-yard chunk out to the 30-yard line. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Quarterback checking the play. He's looking to throw. Catch in the middle, it's Hunter. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. Now from the 40, it's first and 10. Sometimes you have to put it in a tight window, and sometimes the window is gargantuan, and it was there. Yeah, that was one of them big old huge windows. And, and I tell you what, when you throw to the middle of the field, a lot of times quarterbacks are a little bit hesitant. When you're that open, it's easy to pull the trigger, easy to make the decision, make the read, get the ball to your seat. The Tigers have it with a first and ten. They're going to ride this running back. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. There's always that issue of confidence, pride, of keeping up, of proving your worth on this stage. And the ACC loves to get a chance at the SEC to do just that. And these kids grow up in the same area. And you don't think the ACC teams here all the time SEC, SEC, about the dominance, the draft picks, all the stuff that goes with it, it definitely adds some of that. Got a lot of running room. Big, big gain on that one as he steps out of bounds with a first down. I think it's really important for this offense. They get this guy going early in the game, and they're doing a nice job of that right now. Remember, he's the kind of running back who gets better as the game goes on. That's a really good omen for this offense, considering his success now early. They've been running it, but now the pass. He got it. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Auburn. What a quick start for this offense, putting up points on the first drive. And that's got to feel good, Reese. You've been practicing all week. You've been practicing against the looks you were anticipating to see from this defense. You get those looks. You're able to come out. You run the ball. You throw the ball. And this offense right now is in a groove early. From the gun, they'll try the middle. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. They can really be aggressive after that last play. It's second and three. They'll give it to the back. Still running at the four. What a good one there. He has enough for the first down. The Tigers dating to the days of Shook Jordan and Pat Dye love to keep the ball on the ground. And then the stadium goes nuts and the eagle flies and everybody's happy. Run the football, win football games. It's good times on the plains. This defense has got to get better at tackling in the open field or game tackling because if you need three or four bats to bring a guy down, have fun with that. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. 
There is a rich tradition of running the football at Auburn. James Brooks, Joe Cribbs, Bo Jackson, Cadillac Williams, Ronnie Brown. They love to find a tough running back to feed the rock. Such great history, such great lineage of ground and pound and great athletes. And it's just a physical mindset of Auburn. And they're, they're always that team that wants to run the football. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical in pass deep. Hey, man, if you're going to force incompletions when the QB's thrown in the tight end, you better be physical. Nice job with the hit, forcing that incompletion. And excellent vision to find running room there and make a really good pickup before the defense put a stop to it. From the 17-yard line, it's first and 10. Hand off from the shotgun. Staying physical in the red zone as he's pulled down after picking up three balls at the 14. Got three on first down at second and seven. On the ground, it's Hunter. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can't pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. Caught in the backfield, it's Hunter. They didn't get a ton of yardage there, but they're really effective at using the back out of the backfield, and they do it to get the first down here. How about these two running games so far? Dominance on the ground as we look at the first quarter stats. Heading in the opposite directions now as we crank it up in the second. Starting off this quarter, close enough to smell the goal line. They'll dial up the run on first and goal. And he'll sprint in for the score. Touchdown, over. And this offense has started the season off so good. 1-0 a week ago, right? Now building on it again. Great job putting points on the board. It's still the first half of this year. Used to play fake, now to throw. He rifles one deep to the left. It's complete, a huge pickup. And he ran away from the crowd and he'll take it in. Touchdown, Tiger. Oh man, you've got to love this execution if you're an offensive play caller. Watch the QB, he does such a good job buying time, using his eyes. Receiver starts on the right side all the way across the formation. He takes his time, throws a great throw. Receiver makes the kick. Using his legs, it's Hunter. Tough physical run, stiff arm and all as they get it out to the 13. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Really good job making a play, getting it out to the 24 and moving those chains. Another good run. Man, he has been picking up yards in bunches today. Jesse's showing off all the skills. And he's showing no signs of slowing down, David. This guy just gets better as the game goes on. He is a beast. Quarterback reacting to what the D is showing. He's going to pass. Showing the arm straight down the left side. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. Touchdown, Tigers. 
And once he found some daylight, it was time to make a house call. Hey, you gotta have your big boys up front, creating you some time, buying you some time. And he starts all the way on the right side, comes to the left. What do you have to see? You have to see the coverage as you come across the formation. He runs to green grass, finds space. QB leads him. Nice, big, explosive. He'll start this drive with a pass. He'll pull it down and run. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. He's got such good awareness in the pocket. He does a good job of feeling the rush, and you know it's a pass, and you want to keep your eyes downfield, but he sees an opening, and if he sees an opening, he's got the ability to go get it and get a first down. Time running out, and he goes down at the 34. As we reach the two-minute warning, they'll need to try to get a stop to keep this thing from getting out of hand. Second down now after the sack. He's looking to throw. Extending the play. He's going to run it. At the 20, he's got space. They finally corral him, but he turns that into a big gain and a first down. And you're seeing here the difficulties defenses have trying to contain this guy. If you leave a lane opener, you don't sack him right away. You allow him to get outside the pocket. He is going to take off, and he is very difficult to tackle in the open field. He's got running back-like ability. Touchdown, Tiger! Hold it in and just kept right on running to the Hallelujah Land. How about this Tiger quarterback etching his name alongside the greats and maybe wearing out Aubie with extra push-ups after all these points? And you just think about those guys having those kind of days as Nick Marshall, Cam Newton, just superstars at the position. That's what kind of day he's having so far. He'll come out throwing on first down. Coming after it. And the Heat will get home, and the quarterback goes down at the 17. What can they pull out of the playbook here on second and long from the 17? Breaks the tackle. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. They're going to keep this drive going. They'll have to make a play on third and long from the 26. From the gun, wants to pass. That one comes out hot down the right side. And they can't hook up on the big play, and that brings up a fourth down. DB does an outstanding... He'll start this drive firing. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. That's going to wrap up the first half here, and now we join Kevin with the halftime update. Fellas, Yeoman's work in Auburn, Alabama so far, and welcome into the halftime report. Toughest job inside that stadium right now might just be the scoreboard operator after all those first downs and touchdowns. Big plays have defined this one, thanks to two of the best receiving core in all of college football. Let's see if these defenses can adjust and make the necessary chess moves. With that said, 
Let's send it back to the guys at Jordan Hare. Going to the ground. At the 35, he's loose. And he'll have enough for the first down at the 42. Auburn just keeps piling up yards on the ground, and they have done this for years and years. Just stacking them up. That's who they are. That's what their identity is. They want to run the football first, establish the line of scrimmage, play physical. That's what great Auburn teams do. They're going to go right back to him on first down. And they try the middle of this defense, and that is not happening. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. The offense will have to use its first timeout of the half. They'll line up for a second down play. From the gun, running back on the move. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. Even if they don't convert, picking up a few would give them a decision to make on fourth down. His third and long from the 45. Throws to the wideout. And they can't make the connection on third down. He's incomplete. Fourth down. They go to the ground. Picks up the first down. And he eluded the defense, and he'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Auburn! This guy just has a nose for the end zone. You love his ability to find creases, use his speed in the open field, and go score. He's been really good for his offense early this year. That already his fifth rusher. the play fake on first down to throw. Oh, what a spectacular layout and catch. He got open on the post and then had no regard for his body in making that catch. Exactly right. You know you're going to get hit a lot of times coming over the middle of the field, but he runs that post, lays out, makes the play for his quarterback. That's a tough on -run. Wide receiver now comes in motion. The lone back's got it. Puts him in the spin side. He stopped just a chain link or two away from the first down and sets them up beautifully here. Offense gets set for second down. Receivers telling the quarterback what they see. Trying play action. He's going to fire deep. Only toast to coverage. Got it deep downfield. Touchdown, Auburn! And the pummeling has started. After that amazing performance in week one, this offense wasn't content. They felt like they left some plays out on the field, even though they were able to get that win. I feel like they've taken another step. They've raised their intensity level. They've raised their execution. This team is going to be a contender this year. You can just feel it. Comes out throwing on first down. Makes the catch. It's Lewis. 
there to make the stop, and we played three in this one. If you like old school running games, this has been the game for you and a couple of guys who starred through the first three periods. As we start the fourth quarter, it'll take a pretty sizable comeback to win this one. They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. to the ground with the back. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. They got nothing on the last play at second and 10. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. Able to squeeze out a couple on the play, it's down at the 35. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. 42 Spider. 42 Spider. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Past the sticks, and he may get more. Just outside the red zone as they pick up the first down, they'll spot it at the 22. The Tigers are moving quickly down the field. Takes the handoff. It's Hunter. A make the stop after a pickup of three. Ball's at the 18. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. He's looking to throw. He wants it all. Can't make the grab as he was looking for his man right at the goal line. And that is a huge missed opportunity for the quarterback. You've got your guy wide open in the end zone. You're not under pressure. You just got to hit him. That ball got away. That's one he'd like to have back. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Grab in the backfield. It's Hunter. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. They'll run it to keep this clock grinding. Got the first down and more. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. Ball spotted at the 27. It's first and 10. And he won't quite get there. But boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first. An array of possibilities here. And that would be the definition of first down success. Putting yourself in a good position. It's second and inches. I can do whatever I want next. I can take a shot down the field. I can run the football and get a new set of downs. Like, nice first down execution. And the Tigers have it with a first and ten. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Going to work on second down in the red zone. is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. Handoff from the gun. And how about that alertness and that swarming D to keep him from getting the first down? And I'm a fan of this, man. Run the football. Eat. Ready up. Come on, set. Ready. Keeping it on the ground with the single back. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Auburn doing business in the red zone. Clear. Clear. 
movement here from the tight end. They'll run it from the gun. And he has a solid game before the defense bottles him up. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. third and short. They'll go to the power running game. Touchdown Tiger! And the route is on! Points, points, and more points. This offense has had their way. They just keep their foot on the gas, keep putting up points, keep putting up touchdowns, and you know what? This is one of those stats days. You look back and you're like, that guy had 12 touchdowns. The run from the shotgun. Oh, it gives him the tough stiff arm. On the move at the 30. Oh, look out, there he goes. Touchdown, Tigers. And the stomping has commenced. Someone say run out the clock, someone. Winning can become a habit. Now they've won back-to-back -back games and probably building a little confidence from that. Yeah, and you want it to be a habit. That's what you talk about as a coach week after week. Let's build. Let's create momentum and continue to build on it. Continue, And then you look up at the end of the season, you never know where you could be, what dreams you could bring to reality. At the end of the day, I think good teams find ways to win games. And over these last two games, it hasn't always been easy. They've had to overcome some adversity. But at the end of the day, they were able to step up, make the plays necessary, and do that. Very, very impressive. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.